Have you ever wondered about wet dreams? Who gets them, why do they get them, and what exactly does it mean? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm here today to explain just that. If you're new here, I make content every week about urologic health, bladder health, sexual health, and much, much more. So if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends. The scientific term for wet dreams are nocturnal penile emissions, but people like to call them wet dreams or nightfall, and essentially what it is is when you ejaculate in your sleep and wake up with a little bit of a mess in your sheets. And in fact, they can happen to both men and women. But before we get into why these happen and what exactly that means, let's talk a little bit about what happens when a person ejaculates. Usually, with sexual stimuli or friction, our body sends signals to our sympathetic nervous system. And that's a nervous system that's stimulated when you have fight or flight reactions, so your adrenaline is rushing, and that's what causes the sympathetic nervous system to fire. This sends signals to our spinal cord, which then sends triggers to the bladder neck to close. And that's so that when you ejaculate, it doesn't go backwards into the bladder, but forward out the urethra. And then the fluid is then released into the urethra from the seminal vesicles through the ejaculatory duct, which I've talked about many times before in a couple other videos, so you can check those out. And that fluid within the proximal part of the P-tube causes a reflex, which also then sends a signal to another part of the spinal cord, which then causes the pelvic muscles and the muscles around the urethra to contract and causes the emission or the fluid to go out the urethra. So who gets wet dreams? Well, according to some very small studies, about 80 to 90% of men experience at least one wet dream in their lifetime, and about 30 to 40% of women. However, interestingly, they haven't done a lot of studies on this, but what they found is that up to 48% of men who experience wet dreams, as usually around puberty, have no idea that it's coming, have never talked to anyone about it at all. And you could imagine that it would be kind of a scary experience to go through as a young boy to wake up with this sticky mess in your bed and not know if you wet yourself Self or what exactly happened. So most often people have these wet dreams during puberty and that's for a number of reasons, but they can have them throughout their entire lives. And it's based on a number of factors, including age, how frequently you have ejaculations and your hormone levels. Actually, it's more likely that if you haven't had an ejaculation in a few weeks, that you're more likely to have a nocturnal emission. Interestingly, you may think that having wet dreams only happens in the setting of an erotic dream, but actually that's not true. When they studied this in small groups, they found that up to 40% of men either were having a non-erotic dream, like dreaming about something completely non-sexual, or woke up and couldn't even remember the dream they were having when they had the emission. So it does not have to necessarily mean that you were having some sort of erotic dream. You could have been having some friction to the area if you were sleeping on your stomach or other things that could have caused the emission. This is completely normal. Whether you've had one or not have one, there is nothing wrong with you. Let me say it again. Having wet dreams or nightfall is not detrimental to you in any way. It's not gonna affect your overall health, your sexual health, your fertility, or anything else in any way, shape, or form. So I really made this video to reassure you all that nothing's wrong with you. This is completely normal and nothing to be ashamed of. So as always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it.